Welcome back everybody. Uh, these torture tests of sorts seem to be very popular on the internet. I asked folks over on my Facebook page if they wanted to see me do a 500 rounder here of this AK-63D. Uh, folks are always questioning Sentry's quality and uh, so I figured it'd be a good way to sort of test it. However, obviously we're on a budget. Um, a lot of folks said save your money. However, I did have two viewers, which is awesome, actually offer to supply the ammo for this. So really, I really appreciate that guys. Um, so this ammo is going to be uh, supplied by one of our viewers, Polly, and then another viewer who didn't want to be mentioned. Um, so again, guys, I really appreciate that. And uh, what we have here, I believe we have 16 30 round mags, fully loaded, as well as a 20 round uh, tanker bag, which should give us right at 500 rounds. So what I'm gonna do here is just fire it pretty much continuously, uh, as much as I can anyway. Obviously it's wood hand guards, it could get really hot. We're gonna test the heat of it as well. I have some gloves in case it gets too hot. And uh, we're just gonna roll the camera straight one take, at least attempt to anyway. Uh, it's pretty cold out here today. It's probably like 50. Um, currently, the barrel is right at 64 degrees. So that's our starting point here. Um, I guess without further ado, let's see how it does. Actually, I, before we do that, I should mention the ammo we're using here is a mix of uh, Red Army Standard as well as just some uh, tin can, like the 700 round tins from Romania. Uh, some of that as well, so it's kind of like about half and half. Um, and the gun is lubricated. Uh, at this point, it has 300 rounds through it. Flawless, zero issues at all. Um, you guys will see that later on in the review. Uh, some of that footage, probably some of this as well, but um, it's run flawlessly, it's relatively clean. I mean, I wiped things down and then I lubricated it, so uh, that's pretty much it. That's where we're at, so uh, without further ado, let's, let's start the test. See how my shoulder does too with this underfolding stock. 500 rounds, it's gonna be ugly. One mag. That was obviously a uh, Bakelite mag. This one here is going to be a Yugo mag. For those wondering, just about mag compatibility, I guess we'll name those throughout. Starting to smoke a little bit. This one here is going to be the uh, Romanian banana clip. The hand guards are, are fine, not a big deal right now. I can feel the heat though coming off the barrel. Of note there, the reason the bolt's holding open is those primary uh, arms, weapon tech bolt hold open followers. The gun's getting a little hot to the touch now. This one here is uh, Toss Tool Mags. Keep it going. All right, 120 rounds. It's, it's getting hot, like real hot. I suppose that's to be expected, huh? I do have some gloves if we need them. This one here is Circle 10 mag. Woo! <laughs> Starting to get hot. So far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some gloves on, guys. This thing here is starting to burn my hands. Obviously, the wood hand guard's not exactly designed for this. These gloves are uh, Landskin and Nomex, though, so should hold up pretty well to the heat. Inshallah, right? Alright, next up another Yugo mag. This one here is the M64 variant, as you can see there. And this thing is smoking, guys. Let's check the temperature actually while we got it down for a second. 
I mean, I can smell it smoking. That barrel is 475 degrees. A little warm. You go, Mag. Holds the bolt open. Mag pull P Mag. Man, it's hot even through the gloves. I'm not sure how well that comes across on camera, but it is smoking. I smell the wood burning. That mag feels a little funny going in there. We'll see. Seemed to work. No doubt about it, guys, that wood is burning. It is seriously burning. We're getting pretty consistent uh, measurements right around the 680 mark, 680 degrees. I mean, I can feel that heat just flying, coming through. This thing might catch on fire. It's doing fine though, reliably. Reliability wise. That was a Tapco mag. Good to use just because the gun does come with one Tapco mag. To not totally catch this thing on fire, guys, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just try to at least, I got a steel plate down there at 100 meters. Try to at least keep it in the area of it instead of just dumping it, because I really think this thing's gonna burn if I don't. Try not to do that, it make the review kind of hard. <laughs> As you can see here, the oil, not sure if that comes across there on camera. And the stain from the handguards is coming out. It's starting to leak all over my gloves. I'm starting to sweat. The heat's coming off. What is this here? Standard Romanian mag. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Even the receiver is getting freaking hot, like really hot. <laughs> I'm getting tired a little bit here. A few more to go, what do we got here? Circle 10. 
check the temp. That receiver's hot. Cheers. Oh, there it is. All right. We're getting pretty consistent 660, 670, somewhere in that range. Let's check the block. Yeah, the gas block is over 700. So far, though, I'm impressed. What do we got? Let's do it. Target's turned kind of sideways. I probably won't be able to engage it now. Yeah, a little bit. As soon as I say that. <clears throat> AK-103 mag. I'm getting tired, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Tough job, right? Somebody's gotta do it. Look at that handguard. There's gonna be no finish on this when I'm done. I forgot I loaded one. That was a blown primer. You definitely cannot blame the gun for that, as you guys can see right there. Not the gun's fault for that malfunction. Let's see if it still works. Hopefully that primer's not in there. Hold on. Let's see, hold on, might have an issue. Yeah, looks okay. Looks like the gun's still running. Let's put those two rounds that came out back in there. Yep, the handguards are definitely uh, starting to show burn marks. Two more rounds from this mag. Not sure if you can see it here on camera, guys. We got burn marks coming across. It's still smoking. By now though, probably all the CLP that was in there is gone. This is a Toth tool mag. Let's see. Mag held open again. Those are those Weapon Tech followers, guys. Romanian mag. Let's take a few shots. I got about maybe six inches of that plate still exposed because it's kind of turned sideways. I know you guys can't see it. We'll see if we can still hit it out here. Again, we're shooting at 100 meters. I'm guessing it'll still be okay. It's hot.
Last 30 rounder. Then we got a 20 rounder left. So 50 rounds, guys. Obviously doing extremely well. Everything still looks okay. Instead of being dirty. Rails are good. Let's keep going. It's hard to see the sight because the heat's just coming off over it. It's crazy. Twenty rounds left. And that's it. <sighs> Tanker bag. Got some serious smoke again. Let's see if we can get a couple hits here on the steel. Shooting, uh, that's a 10 inch plate down there, so still relatively accurate. That is it, guys. Y'all are probably tired of watching me. I'm kind of tired of shooting for the first time in my life. Six hundred degrees is what we're at at the bottom of this, at the end of this test, I should say. Definitely some serious burning going on here. I'll pull the handguards off here at the end of the video, rolling some pictures, but that's where we're at. But not a single. Not a single gun cause malfunction. Honestly, I mean, it's impressive. You, you can't do any better than that. That primer has nothing to do with this gun, but it is still smoking hot, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Obviously, we will be reviewing this video, this gun down the road, so stay tuned for that. But there's a little bit of a torture test that, you know, that kind of heat and that kind of stress can expose some problems if there are some. So far, seems like there aren't any. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you can post below. You can always post over at my Facebook page. But uh, hope to see you in the next video.